Hey, welcome to this Windows channel and uh, this is a little tips and tricks video for anyone that has Windows 10 and is wondering where Internet Explorer is. I, I get this request regularly and at first I didn't really understand why I get the request because in the first installment of Windows 10 uh, built to 10 to 40 uh, Internet Explorer was easy to find but it seems that in 10 586 the November update it's been a little more difficult to see where it is and I did check it out and while installing Windows 10 on a client's computer uh, last week I did notice that when you go into the programs all apps that Internet Explorer was absent from the list and I was like hmm okay so they put Microsoft Edge, but when you search for Internet Explorer, it doesn't seem to be in the list. So what did I do? Well, if you want to have Internet Explorer, it is there. It's just that they're making it hard for you to find it. So go into your File Explorer. Once you are there in the File Explorer, simply go to the C drive. So you'll go to click this PC and you'll go into the C drive. In that C drive you have folders called programs and program files x86. So program file and program file x86. Both contain a copy of Internet Explorer. The difference program files x86 when you go to Internet Explorer you'll see that iExplorer.exe is there. This is the executable for X Windows Internet Explorer. Simply right click on that and send to the desktop and you'll have a copy of Internet Explorer on the desktop. You can also right click you can also uh, pin to start if you want. This will also work and pin to the start. You can also pin to taskbar which means that Internet Explorer will show up here and you can remove Edge if you don't want to use Edge at this point. This in the program files x86 is the 32-bit version of Internet Explorer 11. If you wish to have the 64-bit version of Internet Explorer 11 then you need to go to the other one, the program files that does not have x86 written. Here you also have Internet Explorer You'll have an iExplorer.exe. This is the 64-bit version of Internet Explorer 11. Once again, right-click. You can send to the desktop to create a shortcut. You can pin to the start or you can pin to the taskbar. And once that is done, you now have Internet Explorer available for your computer. It's as easy as that, but you need to know where to go, basically. So that's how you find Internet Explorer and pin it so that it's easy for you to find if you need some. If you enjoy my videos, why not subscribe to my channel? You'll be informed when new videos are online. Give us a thumbs up if you like the videos. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, anything you want to know, let us know. Maybe we'll post a video about it. And thank you so much for following us on the channel.